I'm Zephyr Shaw, housing attorney at the Public Justice Center. I'll be in Annapolis this Thursday to oppose Senate Bill 493, the so-called Rent Transparency Act. And I hope you'll be there with us or calling your senator to let them know to oppose this bill. It's not about rent and transparency. This bill makes any fee listed in a lease into collectible rent, collectible through the eviction process. And that may not sound like a totally new idea or a big deal even until you've checked out some of the tricky lease language that's often used in residential lease contracts. And here's an example from our client, Betsy Watson, who will be in Annapolis with us on Thursday to oppose this bill. Watson's lease shows us that anything can be additional rent. Water bills, maintenance costs, cleanup fees, even late fees charged on top of other late fees. And this tricky lease language is ubiquitous in contracts across the state, so SB 493 isn't inventing that problem. It's just taking the existing problem and making it way, way worse. It does that by making sure that a dispute about whether a renter owes all kinds of charges goes to rent court instead of a civil action for breach of contract or, say, a consumer complaint to a billing company. Rent court is the fastest debt collection method in Maryland's law, and it uses the least due process and leverages eviction to squeeze folks for money money that tenants may not actually owe and don't have the opportunity in rent court to demonstrate that they don't owe it. So we need to make sure rent court is fair before legislators add in extra fees and liability issues into the process. Fairness before fees. The time for reform of rent court is right now. This Thursday, Public Justice Center and our allies will also be out at the Senate to support Senate Bill 520 and 524. These bills capture the consensus recommendations of the 2016 legislative study on rent court, and they, they demonstrate how we can make rent court fair and effective for all litigants, not just the landlords. SB 493, the so-called Renter Transparency Act, ignores those consensus reform proposals. And actually, it goes the opposite direction to make the court more of a debt collection company and less of a fair day in front of the judge. I'm Zephyr Shah from Public Justice Center and I hope you'll join us in fighting for rent court reform and stopping this terrible bill, the so-called Rent Transparency Act.